Itchy. How are you? Good. Good. This is Chi's first week. Yeah. Doing a great job on the team. It's really fun to walk here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and we're just handing out our new shirt designs. So this is the new design. The other one was a little bit had like the skyline, but that was our old brand logo and design. So now we've got this one, which I think looks pretty cool. Hello, everyone. How are you today? <laughs> How's your first week been going? Crazy. Crazy? Crazy, but good. Have you, do you feel like you're starting to learn a little bit of what this whole gear sort of thing is about? I think so. Yeah. Definitely. Sam, so, you've got some experience teaching, right? I do. I have experience teaching South African kids, but um, this is a whole new ball game. Because right. we're only teaching English now. And um, obviously to people who've never spoken English before, so that's kind of new to me. Yeah. We've got this little new stool here for our projector. How's it going this week, Kyle? Good, yeah, it is a lot. It's an intense course. I'm trying to stay on schedule, but also not rush things. Right. So we're just trying to uh, wrap things up for the week, and we're going to overflow a bit into next week with more games and activities. That's the most important thing, I think. Having you practice yeah. ways to make the content fun. So it's going all right, and I'm um, happy with the pace we're, we're going. Good stuff. You're the best car so far, right? <laughs> You're the best so far, right? All right. <laughs> uh, which age students should you show the objective to? Why should you back change some words? Friday, so nearly the end of the work week for me and the rest of the team. Although I feel like I work on the weekend way too much. I'm actually trying to take the weekends off a bit. The students also have started doing their observation classes where they go into schools and watch other teachers, other foreign teachers teach Vietnamese students so that they can start to get a feel for what it's like to be in the classroom and watch other teachers who have some experience teach where you can learn the good and the bad that you see other teachers doing. So actually a few of the students so far have mentioned that the teachers weren't all that great in some of the classes. So that's also a good learning experience though. I mean, we don't know what the teacher is gonna be like. So basically there's gonna be some good teachers, some not so good teachers, but you can learn from either. And I think that's quite important to really just get a sense of what it's like to be in the classroom and start to figure out what kind of teacher you're going to be. So during this week, that's been happening for the students in the evenings. And then they've got some on the weekend too, because that's when the English centers are open. And yeah, so they're working basically through the weekend a bit. What did you get? Some coffee, some tea. Oh, uh, the Nestle is from, you just buy it from the circle. Yeah. I do that with the coffee sometimes. It's cheap coffee, it's only like 10,000 um, half a dollar. Yeah, now that I think about it, actually our team works quite a lot on the weekend because I know Angie takes a lot of calls with potential students for our course on the weekend. And Miranda's got tons of emails to do all the time. Uh, keeping up with students but obviously because the main training of the course runs from Monday to Friday during the day that's kind of the office hours we have here but it can be tough to schedule in times to do Skype calls Skype interviews with potential students in the US and UK etc because of the time zone difference so sometimes we have to do calls early in the morning here so that we can get US time zones in the early evening so that people can get in touch with us and schedule calls. 
So normally how they do that is you just contact us through the contact tab on the website and then if you're qualified to teach in Vietnam, then we get back to you and we can set up a Skype call to give you some more information and then when you actually apply for the course, then you can do a Skype interview with us. So yeah, that's, one, that's kind of how the process works for signing up and now, as I mentioned in a previous video, pretty much all our courses look like they're going to be full this year. So then what's next? Do we just limit it there or do we create a second classroom, get a second trainer? Because this, this room is actually, I mean, it's too big for an office really. It, this could be a second classroom. And that's actually what I was thinking when we got this space. Although we don't want to grow too quickly and sacrifice the quality of the course because we really try and make it like a personalized experience for everyone and if we didn't have that then you know I think that's what sets us apart so we really want to try to stick to that and not just <laughs> sign up too many people then we can actually give a really quality experience. I am really enjoying this course and the way it's been going with them getting up to the front and facilitating many activities and they are now getting into the lesson planning. So uh, yeah, they, I feel like they're getting much more confident with being in front of the class and giving directions clearly, uh, slowing down, minimizing their teacher talk times. All these things are starting to come together in a matter of one week, which, you know, teaching takes a long time to get all these skills working together, but they are making incremental progress. Yeah, so that's week one wraps, and yeah, not much of a break for you because you're also coming in to help with some lesson planning. Ah, uh, yeah, this weekend will be better than the next weekend where I'm going to be going and I'm serving them on the weekend. <laughs> yeah, so this is going to be a busy time for you. I'm probably going to go to <laughs> Miranda's pool party tomorrow. Yeah, I was going to, but not Why don't you come for like a bit and then come do the lesson planning? That's at the same time. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but then we're probably going to go for dinner with the students, which would be nice. Yeah. Nice break. December, we went to uh, some burger place off of Walking Street. It's really good. I forgot the name. I, think that, um, I was going to suggest Union Jack's maybe? or Journey's Gourmet Sandwich Shop. Yeah, that's quite a good selection of options around here. We could just go to Pizza for Peas because that is like really good pizza. So that's it for this vlog. Just wanted to give you a little bit of a peek inside our first week of our TESOL course here in Vietnam. And yeah, if you're interested in joining us on one of these courses, they're filling up this year and we're probably gonna have full classes. So it's a good idea to sign up in advance if you want to join. Otherwise, stay tuned for more videos about teaching English and life in Vietnam. Leave a comment below uh, if you have any questions about teaching in Vietnam or life out here or anything you want to see in this vlog. Make sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss these videos and give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So, I'll speak to you soon. Peace.